Welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome to back to the Ned Flanders series. He is a third baseman playing for the New Britain Rock Cats of the Minnesota Twins organization. Last episode, he battled his first game against the Curve and in this episode, we will finish the Curve series. As Ned is the leadoff man here, so... Hopefully Ned will continue on here Making New Britain proud Because in the last series look at that one through out of 12. That's really bad So Ned has been on a cold slump lately. Hopefully we'll see him Yeah, Ned had to change his number for his original number was number not five then he decided to change it. As there's Ned, and he almost hit his guy. Wait, was it nine? I knew his third baseman coach was the reason why he had to change the numbers thing. So let's zoom on to the instant replay. Oh, his original number was nine. Yes, his original number was number nine. Then he changed it to 48 to suit management's problems. And there you see Ned is not doing so well with the new number. But that is inexcusable for the leadoff man. And he strikes out, so once again, things are not looking good. But New Britain's up 2 nothing. Now it's time for a fielding situation here. Now as... There it is. Ooh, good diving catch by Ned. So there's 50 skill points for that. So Ned's back up. Hopefully he can to end this cold slump that Ned is on. Because Clark is 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 being relentless to Mr. Flanders here. But look at this one. No fly out. So at least this isn't a strikeout, folks. And once again, he's getting his uniform filthy. So New, New Britain's up 3 to nothing here at the top of the third inning here. So, and coming up next will be Seymour Skinner, and look out, Ned, as... Oh, look at that, Ned made a mistake. Uh-oh, look out, look out, Ned, get back to third base. So that didn't end the shot out there. So, Ned is a, a 0 for 3 here. Wait, 0 for 3, really? No, 0 for 2, excuse me, I had to double check. Because he's about to go 0 for 3 in a minute. Watch. As there's Ned and... Ooh. Well, he didn't hurt anybody. So at least that should be something to be proud of right there. He didn't hurt anybody. But be careful. There's been rumors in this business that Steve Bartman, and yes, I'm dead serious, is probably in the audience trying to snag a foul ball. And so far, he's not getting good chances. Oh, wait. It's not left field. It's right field. Excuse me. So... And Ned once again strikes out once again. So Ned is is really sucking. So right now, at this point, he better be lucky if he continues under a season finale. Otherwise, we do not want to see him get a season finale, a series finale for Ned Flanders because right now he is not is not cutting it. So now with the bases loaded, here comes Ned once again. There it is! He failed. He didn't drive in the run. So that sucks. There. So he got every out in the book. He got a fly out. There's the perfect throw as Ned gets him out. So. And there's now 6 nothing here as Ned right now he is not doing so good. That is, this is, as DiMaggio's up the bat. What is his first name, Joe? Nope, that was a very early swing. They are here. And once again, Ned is continuing to suck here. So right now, Ned is... And once again, he strikes out once again. Oh, God, Ned, quit stinking. 
Now time for a fielding situation here. It is still 6-0, so hopefully in the next game will, will be the last one of this series and the last one for this episode. That sh sh shifts, changes it up. As look at this, the Rockcats win 6 to nothing. So he didn't pass any goals. That is really pathetic. Uh, Mr. Flanders. So we do expect Ned, the manager is saying, we expect more from you. Oh, speaking of the G manager, there he is. And come on, work. Work, will ya? See, look, you can't do worse than that. Brutal watching you. Yeah, he's not giving up. Ned is said tell his kids not to give up. But right now, Homer is probably in Pensacola laughing his butt off because right now, so it's time to get his skill points. Hopefully, this could pick up a bit here. So he's better on lefties than righties. No racist joke there, people. In fact, he even considered changing positions because of Danny Valencia. Then he decided, nah, screw it. I'm staying put at third base. So now it is time for the next showdown, uh, the last showdown against the uh, Altoona Curve, who are the double-A affiliate of the Pittsburgh Pirates, by the way. As Clarence Jackson takes on Saul Britt, a left-handed pitcher. So wow, so this could work out for Ned's advantage. As you can see, his batting average is a 154, which is, which in major league, minor league standpoints, that is inexcusable. There's Ned getting ready and hoping, hopefully this time he gets to redeem himself tonight, today. As now it's a sunny day here, and there it is, and he finally hit the, at least we know he hits the ball that time, so... If there's a cut, to are you serious? Well, at least Ned's gonna help the pitcher out, get it, strike him out easily this time. And this time, nope. What a way to start off the game with hit here. And this time he has decided to. No, oh, wait, wait. What the hell is he doing? Ned gets a single though, so at least that boosts up his confidence. So that's okay. So now it's time for a fielding situation here for Mr. Flanders. And that was real easy, Mr. Flanders. As there is, there you see Ned getting back onto the field here as Britt's up the bat here. As still on the mound here and well, as you can see, Things right now are not looking good for Flanders, but look at but look at this ground out and worse double play. Yeah, what do you expect from him? And once again, Ned is kicking serious butt here. As New Britain's up 2-0 here at the top of the fourth as Ned is pretty close to coming up next as Clarence Jackson is going to be up to bat next. Here as... Look, what, what's Ned doing? He's blowing it, but once again he got the ball. So there's the Ned up the bat, back up the bat, one for two today. So far here, but now Ned continues to dominate in his performance here. Or semen. Oh, we almost hit someone. Someone in the fans. Let's see if it was a guy that he was about to hit. Because that would have been another balls of steel moment. There. Let's see. Oh my goodness. If he, if he hit it a little harder, he would have gone over the fence and hit someone in the hit someone in the nuts. That would have been another balls of steel. What the hell? I did not mean to do it. Really? 
Apparently Ned sucks at bunting. Besides, I didn't know how to do that. Oh, oh, you hit X to bunt. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. And once again, Ned needs to figure out the batting here. Otherwise, Ned, buddy, you're fired. Yeah, so Ned better shape up, otherwise he'll be the first character to get fired. But right now, I'm, I'm considering firing Ned Flanders right now. But right now, he's doing really well with the diving catches here. With that dive catch there. So, Ned continues to, dom continues to dominate on the fielding, but sucking at the fielding. And there's a very late swing there, so that is not. As right now, as he continues to struggle at the batting, this is going to make a tough decision for me. Am I going to fire Ned? But, once again, hey, another shutout. So, this should just about do it for this episode. He didn't pass a goal again, but... He is starting to improve. I mean, he didn't strike out this time. Come back next time as hopefully we'll, I will make a decision. Is Ned Flanders the first member of the Micromelly One Company to get, well, the second, if you count my scriptwriter from my Haunted Mansion video, to get fired? And note, if he does get fired, there will be updates from him. See how he's doing. The, vid, the series will end right there. So if he does get fired, someone else will take his place. But it won't be Minnesota. So Minnesota will be free open when, the, when a new character, if he gets fired. So come back next time. Hopefully I'll, his performance will improve. Later, folks.